So one year and a half after I came to live here, some inflammation started in my fingers. And I didn't pay attention at the beginning because it was just in one finger. So at the beginning, I was like, oh, it's weird, but it's okay. But this inflammation quickly moved like to other parts of my body and it spread like to my knees, elbows, ankles, like my wrist, my fingers. It was all around my body and it was very painful. So I visit my doctor to see what was going on and uh, they asked me to go to a rheumatologist. So I visited like three different doctors until I found one that I felt comfortable and the diagnosis was the same. You have a rheumatoid arthritis. After using steroids for some time, they decided to, to put me in something called methotrexate. And this medication has like really bad side effects. So at the beginning I was kind of concerned because of course it has terrible side effects. Without this medication, I cannot function, and the medication is not even, is not 100% okay. It's like I, my results sometimes were good with the medication, but sometimes I was just desperate, and I was with nausea and all this, like, I don't know, I was feeling horrible. And the other thing is, the things I loved the most, I couldn't do those things. I couldn't ride my bike, and, my son and my husband, they, every weekend, they wanted to go to ride bikes. I was like, okay, I can go. Because the pain was so terrible that I couldn't handle like, like the bike. I couldn't even, no, support my body in the bike. And the worst thing is I was feeling like, it's bad to say this, but like an old lady. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was so afraid. And I was not able to squeeze the bottle of shampoo to put my shampoo in my hair. I was not able to open my medication for the pain I had. So I remember that day. One day I was desperate with all this pain and they, I was taking the methotrexate and they asked me to, if you have pain, you have to take a leave or Vimovo. So one day I was waiting for my son to open the bottle for me to take the medication because I just couldn't open the bottle. And trust me, there were days in a scale from one to 10, that I was a nine. It was terrible. And something that is very important is you don't want to tell everybody, but inside you, you're afraid. It's, it's, it was terrible. My husband and son, they were very supportive, but of course, there, there are two things. They are, they are supportive, but they don't feel your pain. You are the one who knows how, how much pain you have. Uh, and the other thing is, you don't want your son to be concerned about you. So I started like, okay, I cannot show him that I'm feeling like this. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I think I cannot talk. It's so hard because that was a hard moment for me. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. So one time I wanted to discuss with my doctor if, if there was something else available or if, if through diet or something different, I could manage my disease. And they say, listen to me, this, is, this doesn't have a cure, this is um, degenerative, and, um, and the other thing is progressive. So when you heard those three words, it's like, okay, you don't have a cure, it's degenerative, so it's gonna get worse, and it's progressive. It's like, and you have to live with this for your life. So I started looking for different programs to learn more about diet and foods to prevent inflammation or foods that can help you to like, that can help you to manage your disease. And in, in do, when I was doing this research, I found the McDougall plan. And I was at the beginning you know, like, kind of a skeptical because, well, you don't believe it's like, does this really work? I want to try it. And then I was like, because it looks so simple. And then I was, this is common sense. It makes sense. And to be honest with you, with all the pain I had, and the other option is this medication, and the food is just food, and it's natural food. So I was like, 
I'm going to try to do it. Uh, if it doesn't work, I can go back to the medication. The medication is always going to be available. And what if it works? So what I did is I went to the, to the McDougall's website and I saw three different videos from people with rheumatoid arthritis. And there was one that she described exactly what I had. And that video, I was so like connected with that, that situation that I was like, she, she has exactly what I had. And she's saying she's feeling great, so I'm gonna do it. So like the first results were within weeks and like complete results like where, where you spend time without feeling any pain. I think it took about three months to have like, like real results when you say like, oh my gosh, I can't run and my knees are just perfect. And you feel that, that sensation is amazing <laughs> when you can go back to run. When you can do this, and when you have this disease and you show others that you can move your hands and your fingers and like this, that's the most amazing thing because, because people with this disease, they, they really understand you cannot move like this with this disease. It's like, this is amazing for me. I can move my hands. It's just like a miracle for me. The other thing I was doing is I was following uh, my symptoms and the reactions with food in order to understand if there were a specific foods that were causing these reactions. And daily is the most important thing for me. It's just the one that next day I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna have pain and some inflammation. So now I look at the, at the labels to see if there is milk in the cookies or if there is milk like I used to, to eat like Greek yogurt. So now I don't do that anymore. So to me, avoiding milk is probably the most important thing in my diet. When people ask me, how can you eat just like this, very simple, and don't you want this or this? I just have to remember my pain. And that's it. It's like, they don't understand. They don't get it because they were not in my body. So for me, that's like the most amazing thing. For me, the McDougall program is like, it changed my life because I feel like I have my, my life back. And not only that, I think it's even better now because by following this diet and these recommendations, I feel more energy. I feel like, okay, it created a discipline in me. And now I'm like, I feel stronger because first thing is I know I can do it. Sometimes like two or three years ago, I never thought about diet. I was like, oh my God, that's hard. Now I have the strength to do it. The other day I went to the rheumatologist because you are always afraid. I wanted to be sure that I don't have anything like in my annual exam and everything. And he said, well, there is no sign of inflammation in your body. Your inflammation level is even lower than a normal person. Oh my gosh. So I came to this seminar uh, to reinforce some, uh, some knowledge and to learn more and to meet people and share experiences. And I saw Dr. McDougall, oh my gosh, I was so excited to see him. And when I saw him, I was like, I have to say thanks. I have to say thanks because thanks to him, his book, his advices, and the most important thing, thanks to all the work he's doing and these people talking to others, and because that's the best story, like when you feel like those are your symptoms, you feel connected, so I say, I have to say thank you. So when I saw him walking, I say, Dr. McDougall, I introduced myself and I said, I wanna say thanks. And he looks at me like, what, wait a minute. And I told him about what happened to me because I feel like I'm the perfect example of what he explains about diet and about how people coming from other cultures when they change their lifestyle, they have these kind of problems. So I wanted to say thank you very much because it's not only about me that of course I'm feeling healthier, I'm happy, but also about my family. So yes, it's just like a huge thank you very much. Yes. And I hope he, he can keep doing this and helping a lot of people.
the other day I was running um, at the gym. I run really slow, but I was so happy running and I was thinking, my God, they probably think I'm crazy because I was happy running, but they don't understand. It's like, now I can run again. It's great, it's wonderful. So that, to me, that's, that's the best thing ever. It's like a miracle.